The House committee investigating the assault on the Capitol is getting new evidence that could help it fill in some gaps in its knowledge. It's coming because the Biden administration has cleared the release of Trump White House visitor logs, including logs from that fateful day, January 6, 2021. Scott McFarlane is on Capitol Hill for us. Scott, good morning. This could fill in some gaps indeed. Hey, Tony, good morning. The National Archives says it'll provide those records to the House January 6th committee in two weeks after President Biden again rejects his predecessor's claim of executive privilege. Those visitor logs are expected to show who was on the grounds in those pivotal hours before the riot began. We know the January 6th committee has been probing who the former president spoke with by phone that day, what he said to Mike Pence by phone from the Oval Office, and who was nearby when he said it. Meanwhile, a federal judge says he'll decide by tomorrow whether to hold Stuart Rhodes, the accused Oath Keepers founder, in pretrial detention in his seditious conspiracy case. Rhodes has pleaded not guilty, and in a hearing Wednesday, his lawyers argued he's not a danger and is, in fact, very eager for a very public trial in his case. His lawyers tell me they're going to argue the Oath Keepers were in town that day on a protective mission for VIPs at the Trump rally. Prosecutors say he's a risk of flight, a risk of witness tampering. Rhodes says he's not, but we'll see what happens when Rhodes is back in court here tomorrow afternoon. Nate? Scott, thank you.